Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. We are kicking off March 2024. For those of you guys that are Pisces that are turning return of the sun this year, or not this year, sorry, this month, happy birthday. Let's get into it. Let's see what your sign can expect for this month of March 2024. We're going to begin here, of course, with Pisces. It is Pisces season, so... Happy birthday to you, Pisces out there. Let's see what the messages are for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of March 2024, let's see what you can expect. Here we go. If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. If you guys are interested in any of our books or journals, you can find all of that on the description link below. All of those are on there. Also, if you guys are finding or finding us on social medias, you can find all of that on the description box as well. Uh, so you guys can make sure you guys are following the correct person. We have thousands of scammers out there pretending to be me. We pay them no mind, but I don't want you guys to fall into being deceived. Here we go, Pisces. What can you expect for the month of March 2024? We're going to pull out four cards representing air, earth, fire, and water element. And the oracle card representing spirit's message for you. All right, here we go, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. Your first card in the... Communication, we have 10 of swords. In regards to your finances and career, we have the moon card here. In regards to the challenge, you have the star card. And in regards to emotions, the element of water, we have the five of wands. All right, Pisces. You're ending a cycle. You're ending a chapter here. Um, the 10 of swords indicates to me that there's going to be some type of ending some type of ending cycle or ending of communication with someone that may be affecting a lot of your energy. Um, very restrictive energy. It's almost giving me the sense of like feeling overburdened or feeling smothered. Um, so a lot of you guys will be ending communication with someone that perhaps is bringing or throwing you a little bit off balance or has been throwing you off balance. I do want to tell you guys, um, because you do have here in your finances and career, the moon card, this is an indication to me that your struggles or the struggles that you've been dealing with Pisces for quite a while are finally coming to an end, but it's going to be very important for you to try the best you can not to use any form of escapism. Um, so what I'm sensing here is almost like it's going to be important. There's going to be opportunities that start to come your way. Um, and primarily it has a lot to do with this major shift that you're going through, right? With Saturn being in your sign. Um, but what they are showing me, it's almost like opportunities are going to be coming your way, but it's going to, you're going to need to step up Pisces and you're going to be able to be proactive in making sure that you take full advantage of those opportunities. I don't want you to sit back or I don't want you to be in that pessimistic type of energy because I feel like ego-based or ego decisions um, could potentially affect you instead of help you. Even if it's an opportunity that presents itself to you, if you are more driven through your ego, you're definitely going to let these opportunities pass you by. And these are opportunities that could potentially change your life, Pisces. So be more proactive in your pursuit of your goals and aspirations because you will make it happen. But what they are telling you here is try the best you can not to use any form of escapism uh, from running away or having to deal with the reality of things. The more practical you are, yes, don't gasp, Pisces, the more active or practical you are in how you approach certain issues or situations that you're currently do, uh, dealing with on your everyday life is really going to bring to you much more stability. But again, you have to be proactive in that. Now, the challenge here is the star card. So again, the challenge is with the moon here and the 10 of swords, it's ending a cycle of, or I should say ending a vicious cycle of running away or using escapism or being in fantasy land or being hopeful, but not really making things happen 
it is letting go of that cycle, letting go of that type of mentality and really making things happen. The star card is illumination. It is opportunity. It is being guided. It is almost like the universe is helping you to get on your way to make things happen for yourself, but you have to take those opportunities. It's kind of giving me the vibes of the person that keeps asking God um, to send them a ship, you know, and ships keep passing by and the person is drowning and they're like, oh, you know, do you need, do you need to get on the boat? And that person keeps saying, no, you know, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for a sign. I'm waiting for God to come down and get me out of these waters. Um, so it's, it's very much giving me that vibe. I don't know why that's exactly what came to mind right now. It's almost like, you know, God or the universe is throwing you, you know, throwing you people in your life that could potentially assist you and help you make things happen. But if you don't know how to appreciate it or take care of it, those opportunities will pass you by. And then you're going to kick yourself in the butt because you're going to be very upset at the fact that you were delulu or being delusional and not being practical. So again, be mindful of that. Now, when it comes to relationships and partnerships, emotion, we have the five of wands. Uh, potentially, there's going to be a bit of obstacles when it comes to how you communicate this month of March with your loved one or with the person that you're currently dealing with. If you're currently single, that's not going to be a very long. You have the star card here and the five of wands. There is definitely someone that's coming towards you. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a person that is very high vibration or someone that potentially has a lot of attention or gets a lot of attention. Don't let that psych you out, Pisces. If this is a person that you really want, put forth the effort and you will definitely come out victorious. The reason I say that is with the star card and five of wands, it is a person that you could potentially see as someone or everything that you ever wanted in a partner but the five of wands could be a little bit of competition there. So again, um, trust in yourself, believe in yourself and be confident, right? What's the worst that can happen? All right. Now let's see what your spirit's message is here for this month of March. We're going to be using our four Oracle card or Oracle decks. Uh, I'm just mixing them and I want to see what is the message here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this month of March 2024, what spirits message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Let's see what's going on here with Pisces. Okay, Pisces, here we go. Your card here is purification. So you're definitely, again, like I said, with the Ten of Swords that came out in communication, there is almost this feeling of being purified, having a second goal at life, having an opportunity that is really going to set the tone for the rest of 2024 for you, but you have to be proactive in it. It's almost like radiating energy that is really pushing you. And though you may feel right now, Pisces, that the pressure is on or that you're being challenged or that things are not being as easy uh, as perhaps in the past, what they're telling you is you can no longer cruise by. At this point in time, you got to step up so that you can raise your standards, raise the vibration go to the next level, um, but really believe in yourself and have faith that you will come out victorious in whatever it is that you do, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Sorry, not Taurus, Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. So you guys can get notified every time I go live here on YouTube, as I'm going to be doing that more often. Um, going to be more proactive on my social medias. If you guys follow me on Instagram, on Snapchat, on TikTok, uh, all of those things are connected here to my YouTube channel. So you guys can make sure that you guys are following the correct person. If any of my social medias are not linked here to my YouTube, you're following a fake account. I only have one uh, account for each social media. I don't have backups. I don't, none of that. Okay. None of that, none of that fuckery. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. All right. Here we go. Aries. In your communication, you have the page of cups. In your finances and career, you have the 10 of swords. In your challenge position, you have the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands here with your emotions and relationships. Okay, 
So there is communication that's coming through, or perhaps I feel for some of you guys, you may be trying to reach out to someone in the month of March, could be potentially someone that you were emotionally invested in, or perhaps emotionally interested in. However, if you are the Aries that was dealing with someone and there is a desire or want to reach out and you took a little bit longer than you should, I feel like that door has finally closed uh, Aries. So don't be surprised if it is you, the one that's doing the reach out, don't forget, or don't forget, don't, um, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but what they are saying here is don't be surprised if this person has already moved on emotionally. I feel that they're closing the door on certain cycles in their life. And unfortunately, this could be you, Aries, that they're closing the door on. Um, so when we're talking about the emotional support that you're going to be having for this month with the page of cups that represents communication. There's also an offering that's coming through for some of you guys. Now this could be an offering in regards to a career, uh, or a career move. Why do I say that? Cause we have the 10 of swords here in your finances and career. So there is an empty cycle there that's happening as well. For some of you guys, you're taking it to the next level. For others of you, you have gotten to the point that there is, it's time for you to move on, Aries. So hear me out, Aries. If you've been the type that you've been at a job or a career for quite a while and you don't see any progress, you're kind of tired of it. What they're telling you is start to spread your wings. It's time for you to really challenge yourself, take it to the next level. If this company is not appreciating you or what you do, you can definitely bring that to the table somewhere else. And I guarantee you that they're going to be paying you or willing to pay you more money. But now is the time to do that, okay? Now, when we're talking about the challenge position here, the Eight of Swords, again, stop letting the fears hold you back, Aries, especially for this month of March. There is, excuse me, there is a lot of promise. There is a lot of growth that is coming to you. But much like the message that was for Pisces, you have to be proactive in that. Um, stop putting yourself in a box. Stop allowing people to limit you. Um, now, I do want to mention for some of you guys, I'm getting in a, a message here. If you are dealing or have been dealing with a partner that perhaps has kind of stomped on your growth or has become so emotionally needy that you've kind of pulled away from certain goals and aspirations that you were trying to achieve, I feel like this month is going to, all of that's going to be coming to the forefront and there's going to be decisions to be made on your part. Um, something I always tell my clients is at the end of the day, the person that is right for you is going to want you to really reach your goals. It's going to push you to believe in yourself and to chase whatever it is that you're trying to make happen. If they do the opposite and they're trying to, you know, keep you small, they're trying to keep you from growing and expanding, then that's not the person for you because they're vibrating from a place of fear, a place of insecurity. And in doing that or in sacrificing your goals and aspirations, you will inevitably uh, become very, what's the word I'm looking for? You will become um, very dissatisfied and even kind of hold a grudge towards them because they kind of kept you small. So if that's something you've been dealing with, expect all of that to be coming up this month because there are decisions to be made. And these decisions have to do with your future, Aries. So take it seriously and really think about it. Now, when we talk about your love life here, we have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands just indicate to me, again, um, it is communicating. Uh, it, it's almost like there are there's going to be communication that happens with you or your partner or the person that you're dealing with, where, again, I'm hearing excuses. So if it's something where you're feeling because you do have the 10 of swords here with the eight of swords, if there is a feeling of stagnation, there's a feeling of frustration on your part. I feel like you're going to be trying to communicate this to your partner. And it may seem uh, like they're kind of brushing it off or like they're making you feel that you're wrong for feeling that, or that you're wrong for feeling whatever it is that you're trying to express to them. Try the best you can from, or try the best you can to come from a place of like patience, try to be patient with them. Uh, if you see that they are mentally checked out, then maybe that is the decision that needs to happen this month for you, Aries, okay? All right. Now, for those of you guys that are single, <laughs> with, the, with the Knight of Wands, uh, mm -hmm. there could be a fire sign coming towards you. Um, 
there could be a fire sign that's coming towards you that is going to be, and I don't feel like it's anyone that you're currently dealing with, Aries. Uh, so definitely stay out on the look for that. Uh, I feel like this person is very attractive or very physically attractive. Um, just make sure that it is a person that is at your mental capacity. All right. What is spirits? What is spirits advice here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what your messages are. Be patient with me, you guys, because these are, I think, four or five decks, and it's pretty hard and heavy to shuffle. I just want to give more opportunity to Spirit to pick the correct one for you guys, okay? Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, so we have stillness. Again, highly, highly encourage you guys, Aries, to before making any ra irrational decisions this month, and I don't want to say irrational because it's almost like you're pent up and you've had it. You're going to get to a point of feeling like you've had it before making those irrational type of decisions where you're just reacting based on how you're feeling. Try the best you can to find quietness in yourself, to find stillness, to be able to make the best decision. What is best for you, Aries? Not what is best for your partner, not what is best for your parents, your kids, what's best for you, for your mental space, for your emotional space, and for your physical space. What is best for you, Aries? And go based on that, okay? All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can they expect for this month of March 2024? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Okay, one more. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. In regards to communication, you have the Nine of Cups. In regards to your finances, wow, you have the Star card. In regards to the challenge position, the Eight of Wands. And in regards to emotions, Two of Pentacles. Okay, off the bat, what I'm hearing, Taurus, there is a major momentum picking up here with you for your finances. There's a wish fulfillment that's coming through for some of you guys. For some of you guys, don't be surprised. There is like something that that was very unexpected. So for some of you guys, it could be pregnancy that's knocking on your door. For those of you guys that are not trying, make sure to take care of yourself because I do see some type of an unexpected pregnancy or unexpected giving of life of something. So for some of you guys, this could be a project. It could be a project that you've been hoping or wanting to do. For those of you guys that are really trying to prove yourselves at work, you've been doing that and there is recompensation is what I'm hearing that's coming through for some of you guys it's almost like they're wanting to make it up to you or they're trying to make you feel uh, that they definitely know your worth and they're willing to pay you that um, for others of you again there is some type of wish fulfillment that's coming through there's something massive that's coming to you Taurus um, the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment it's all about feeling in an emotional level, feeling extremely blessed, extremely thankful with the star card though. For some of you guys, it could be recognition of the highest regard. So there's some type of achievement that's coming through for you guys, uh, whether it's, you know, achievement in the aspect of people really cheering you on, really appreciating you, uh, whether it's money, you know, compensation. Uh, if you guys have been going through or dealing with some type of, uh, court system that you're expecting some type of money, it's finally coming through for you guys in the month of March. Now, when we talk about the challenge, I feel like this month, it's going to be very important for you to prioritize Taurus. I feel like you guys are going to feel very busy or you're going to feel like you're being pulled towards different directions. Try the best you can, again, to prioritize. Be practical about it. Um, if you must, write down a list of the things that you really want to get done uh, or that are the most important to get done. And you know, handle it that way because it's almost, they're telling me like time restrictive or feeling like you don't have enough time because you're just extremely busy. For some of you guys, there's major travel and within this travel that happens in this month or throughout the month of March, there could be a massive wish fulfillment that's coming through for you guys. So for some of you guys, it could be a relationship that comes along or that you meet someone, um, while you're traveling, that is really going to open your your world or, or your eyes to a new world. Um, now, when we're talking about emotions, when I seen the two of pentacles, immediately what came to mind was options. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing 
with a situation, especially those of you guys that are in a relationship and it's almost felt like things haven't been going as great as you would hope. I feel like you're going to be going into this new cycle where new people are going to be coming into your life and you're going to feel it's almost like the universe is testing you to see what it is that you really want, Taurus. I see options for you guys. So again, not just in relationships, but in finances with career, there's major momentum that's picking up for you guys here. It's about making the right choices and what the right choices are for you, Taurus. What is really going to make you happy? Okay. What's really going to make you feel fulfilled? As an example, you've been with a partner and it hasn't been working out. All of a sudden you meet someone that's willing to give you the attention, that's willing to put in the effort, that is willing to go above and beyond for you. Are you going to sit there and be loyal to someone that you've given five, six, 10 years for them to prove themselves to you and they still haven't? Or are you going to let this opportunity of this new person come in and really show you a different world, a different way of being loved? Think about that. All right. Taurus, we're going to go now with your Oracle cards here. Let's see what spirit's message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is spirit's message here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Oh, okay. Thank you. Your message here is builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment you guys, I feel very strongly for a lot of you Taurus this month, there's some type of accomplishment. There's some type of cycle that you're completing. And I don't mean a lot of the times completions are kind of harsh or difficult. I don't feel like it's a hard or diff. I feel like you've been on that journey, right? Of building something. I feel like this month of March, you start to see the rewards of that hard work or determination. You're starting to see the results. You're starting to see the crops of what you've been growing for so long, Taurus. So again, my advice here is really tune into your energies right now, Taurus. Listen to your intuition because I feel like you are spiritually being guided um, to open those doors up for you, to make it easy for you. So listen to your intuition, you guys, because I feel something big is coming to you guys and it's it's massive, like on a grander scale of things. But I feel like it's it's a definite blessing that's coming your way. So um, congratulations, Taurus. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on here with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Raising Venus for the month of March 2024. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos, as well as when we go live on here. I'm going to be doing that more often. So you guys definitely stay tuned to that. All right. And since you guys know, I have a habit of not announcing when I go live, it kind of just sporadically happens. I'm going to be a little bit more proactive. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> if you guys follow me on other social medias, I will try to let you guys know when I'm going live. Even if it's like 20 minutes before I do. Sorry. Okay, here we go, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you guys for this month of March 2024. Gemini Sun moon rising venus here we go gemini in regards to your communication you have the sun card in regards to your finances and career you have the ten of wands in regards to the chat oh the challenge you have the tower and in regards to love and romance you have the four of pentacles okay so in regards to communication i feel like for some of you gemini's you're going to be very proactive this month. If you guys have children, I feel like your children are going to be taking center stage this month for you guys. It's almost like they're going to, you're going to be able to experience happiness or blessings through your children. Um, so what's coming to mind is almost like as an example, if you have your kids that are off in college, I feel like this is the month where they start to get opportunities that really takes them to the, ne to the next level. And you also see it as a blessing because it kind of, helps you get through whatever it is that you're currently going through. So what's coming to mind is, as an example, you have a child that's in college, but they're still kind of financially depending on you. I feel like this month, you're going to start to see momentum in regards where that you start to see them become more self-sufficient or more independent. So they start to rely less on you. 
Um, and it comes at a great time. Why? Because we have a ton of wands here when it comes to your finances and career. Some of you guys may be challenging, um, going through challenges, sorry. Uh, and it may seem almost like you're currently going through these obstacles that seem to come up when in regards to your finances and career. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a energy at work that is just very overbearing um, or you're extremely stressed. You feel very burdened at the time, at the moment. Um, I do want to say here for some of you Gemini's out there, I would highly encourage you guys to get cleansings right now. Okay. The reason I'm saying this is because we do have the 10 of wands and we have the tower card here. So obstacles and difficulties, burdens with the tower. I feel like there's going to be certain situations that are really going to feel almost like the ground is like the carpet underneath is being pulled from you. Uh, did I say that right? Probably not. It's almost like your world is being shaken right now. And the reason for this is because you need to stand your ground, Gemini, and you need to step up to the next level. So what I mean by that is it's almost giving me the energy of like, you've been very passive or you've been kind of like just cruising by life. Um, so you're being forced to get out of your comfort zone. And the only way to be forced uh, to do that when it comes to the universe is when the universe starts to shake up our world. Okay. So I feel, excuse me. So I feel like you're not at the end of having to deal with challenges, but if you want to, excuse me, if you want to get through this as quickly as possible and be able to see light at the end of the tunnel, stop procrastinating, stop not wanting to deal with things that you need to deal with and the reality of things. Um, because with the sun card and the 10 of wands and the tower, it's almost giving me the energy of like being hopeful, being hopeful, but you know what? Being hopeful is not really going to make it happen. You have to be proactive. You have to make decisions. You have to you know, uh, if you're struggling with money, as an example, and you haven't really been trying to get a job, now is the time to do that. Because if you don't, like I said, every, it's going to feel like everything around you is falling apart. And the reason for that is because this is the universe way of really pushing you to your limit so that you can step up to the biggest or highest version of yourself, Gemini. So pay very close attention to that. When it comes to emotions you have the four of pentacles here so with the tower here i feel like for some of you guys you will be getting news or you will be hearing about perhaps a person think of the last person that you were dealing with that really made you feel like you had to protect your heart you had to guard yourself so there was some trauma there some difficulties there you're coming out of this maybe for some of you guys you've been dealing with this healing for a very long time I feel like you're finally being able to release something. And the reason for this is because you're getting news or you're hearing about that person from the past. Um, that is something that you were not definitely not expecting. Um, so what they're okay. So what they're saying is almost like you were hopeful about a situation from the past or maybe a person from the past. You were hopeful about something. Perhaps they led you on. Perhaps they made it seem like they were still interested. You will be finding out this month news that is really going to shake you up, but it's going to give you clear insight to who that person is. Take it for what it is. Gemini, my advice is cut your losses. All right. This seemed like all over the place. I feel like you guys are really going to be challenged this month of March, Gemini. But if you... Like I said, if you stop like putting things in the back burner and you decide to face those challenges head on, you're going to be extremely blessed. You're going to experience a lot of advancement. But again, stop allowing things to pile up behind you. You know, <laughs> it's almost like they're showing me the chair, right? The chair with the clothes, <laughs> Uh, you keep adding on and adding on dirty clothes when you know you should have washed it like three days ago and you're still procrastinating about it. Handle your shit, Gemini. All right, let's see what Spirit's message is here. Okay, thank you. So I'm getting two cards and I'm just going to pull them out. Uh, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership and journey. 
again, I feel that when it comes to your relationships, I feel like you were really trying to give it another go or give another opportunity. But I feel like with the journey card, that connection has come to its conclusion or you will be realizing that all that effort uh, that you've been putting towards that person, it was not being reciprocated. And I feel like you guys are making decisions this month that are really going to stop holding you back. It's it's almost like they're, they've been holding you back. Circumstance or situation feels like it's been holding you back. You feel stuck. You feel um, you're finally releasing all of that this month, Gemini. So I feel like on an emotional level, it's going to be a bit of a challenging month only because you are going to have to deal with certain things. The positive in this is that I feel very strongly like if you deal with it head on and stop looking at the world or looking at the situations with rose colored glasses, you're going to know exactly where you stand. And based on that, you're going to know exactly how to move Gemini. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on here with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. In regards to communication, you have the Knight of Cups. In regards to your finances and career, you have the Nine of Cups. In regards to the challenge position, you have the Sun card. Holy moly, guacamole. In regards to love and romance, you have the tower. Off the bat, Cancer, for those of you guys that are single, you're not going to be single for too long. I see the person that is right for you or the person you've been praying for or the person you've been trying to manifest is finally coming through for a lot of you guys the end of this month of March 2024. That's if you don't meet them before that. Um, now, when we're talking about, I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotional fulfillment for you guys this month. Now, when we're talking about communication, you have the Knight of Cups. So there is someone that's coming through that will be giving you some type of offer, some type of love offer, some type of invitation. Uh, for others of you, there is clarification that comes through in regards to your love and romance. Uh, perhaps someone hasn't been, or maybe you felt like you don't know exactly where you stand with this person. This month, you're getting clarity and that wish fulfillment is finally coming through. It's finally happening for you, Cancer. Um, I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I haven't done you guys an amazing reading like right now, cancer, um, with the nine of cups and the sun card. I mean, come on, there's really, when it comes to the sun, there's no challenge there. The only challenge is to live in the moment, to be grateful and be thankful. A lot of the times when life starts to go really well for us and we're so used to, or so accustomed to through going through difficulties that, when things start to go good, we often wonder like, when is the next shoe going to drop? And what spirit is telling you is live in the moment, be present and be thankful more than anything. Learn to be grateful. Cancer. Stop feeling like people have double agendas because, or hidden agendas. Um, why? Because they're telling you, if you give yourself the opportunity to really open up and this could be as simplistic as, because they're showing me the heart chakra for some of you guys, if you've been on a manifestation journey of bringing a person, um, not a specific person, but bringing a person to you that is going to connect with you on an emotional level, someone that is at your emotional intelligence and mental capacity, someone that is wanting or desiring the same thing you're wanting, now is the time to put your hands over your heart and tell yourself, um, I now release any blockages that are currently standing in my way. I surrender to the universe. I surrender to uh, my spirit, guys. I allow you to assist me in opening my heart space and opening my heart chakra to know that I am worthy, to know that I am love, to know that I deserve to love and I deserve to give love. I am now ready to give that love and I'm ready to receive. I assure you guys that if you do this as a mantra for seven days, it's gonna happen like that, you guys, because you have the nine of cups, I mean, all of these cards are just amazing. Look at this. You have the Knight of Cups, emotion of fulfillment that's coming through. There is some type of communication or some type of invitation that comes through where there is a wish fulfillment. There is complete happiness, utter happiness here. The Sun card is the blessing. This is the universe blessing you, bringing to you everything you've ever hoped for, that it's going to completely transform your life. I've never seen the Tower with such positive cards. 
So it's going to transform your life. This is all training, you guys. This is life changing for a lot of you guys. So beautiful, beautiful energy here, Cancer. Now let's see what your spirit's message is for you here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I don't think I've ever done such a beautiful reading for Cancers, you guys. So I'm pretty stoked about that for you guys. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is spirit's message for Cancer? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of March 2024. Here we go. The card that you have, Cancer, is pay attention, okay? Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, Cancer, let's have a serious conversation right now. What's coming through is that person that you've been dealing with, and this may not connect with everyone, it is a general reading. But what they're telling me is that person that you've been ignoring those red flags, that person that you've been giving so many opportunities, this is the month where you release yourself from this chain because it's almost like you're putting yourself on the sidelines for someone that's not willing to hold the door for you. You're willing to hold a space for someone that is not willing or not wanting to hold the door for you. Okay. Listen to that again. You're holding space for someone, right? A space that you may be able to give to someone else and you're choosing not to because you're holding that space for them. When this person over here that you're holding that space for is not even willing to hold the door for you. So pay attention to that because I feel like this month you make that decision and it's going to completely transform yourself. It's going to completely transform your life. This is not just in love. This is in every single aspect. Pay attention to what the universe is showing you when it comes to people. Believe it, okay? All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo. All right. Like I said, if you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up as well as the lives. All right, Leo, we have the three of pentacles here in communications. When it comes to your finances and career, you have the emperor card, very high position or authority coming through. In regards to the challenge, you have the star card. <laughs> In regards to emotions, you have the two of pentacles. Okay, so what they're showing me here is in the workplace, when it comes to your work and career, there's going to be almost like a, a meeting or something that happens where they're going to gather multiple people and they're going to be throwing around ideas. And what they're doing really is to see how people react to you and to your presence. So I feel like there is an opportunity that's coming through that will be given to you. So this could be a higher ranking position. This could be more pay. This could be a position that has more authority. Do not psych yourself out, uh, Leo, even if it's a position you haven't done. Take it, my loves. The emperor card here with the star card, it is illumination. This is your time. It's your time to shine. It's your time to take, you know, grab the bull by <laughs> its horns. Uh, really jump in it wholeheartedly. Like, don't doubt yourself. This is the month where you start to outshine everyone around you. And I don't mean it in a negative way. I feel like there's been people surrounding you that have, you know, kind of hindered your progress. That's not going to be the case no more, especially with the three of pentacles here. I feel like people are vouching for you, Leo, or people are stepping in, um, really, you know, talking to higher ups about your what you're capable of doing. It's almost like your reputation is going to be going on another level this month uh, for a lot of you guys. So for those of you guys that are single, now is the time to really put yourself out there. I feel like people are really going to be vibing to you and they're going to be very drawn to you physically. So whatever it is that you're doing, if there's a, or you've been progressing or going through this type of glow up, this is the month where you start to see that people are actually reacting to it because the emperor card with the star card you're getting a lot of attention and it's almost like you're being in control of your life. You're feeling very empowered. You're feeling really in control. And uh, obviously we know that when Leo is feeling in control and really feeling yourself, your confidence level goes off the roof and there's no one that beats your confidence, Leo. So definitely there is a wish fulfillment. There is something that's coming through for you where you've been really hard at working at it. 
if it has to do with your finances, with your money, you're really starting to stack up. You're really starting to take it to the next level, Leo. So my advice is really put yourself out there, literally put your neck out there. Um, why? Because this is going to help you. I feel like your reputation or something about your reputation is going to be going, it's going to be, you know, <clears throat> going to the next level. And it's really going to open up a lot of doors for you, Leo. Now, when it comes to romance, you do have the two of pentacles here. Because I do have the emperor and the star with the three of pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that have experienced or feel like your love life hasn't been that exciting, this month may be the month it gets really exciting. I see options for you guys, okay? More than likely, what I am seeing here is an Aries man. Um, doesn't have to be masculine. It could be a feminine. It is a general reading. But what they are telling me is that there is an Aries energy that is going to be surrounding your coming towards you. Uh, I feel like it's a more evolved Aries. So it's not shadow side Aries where you guys really wouldn't get along. I feel like their way of thinking, their way of doing things is really going to inspire you. Like it's almost like I see you like really respecting them or like high, having very high regard for them that it's really going to make you feel very attracted to them. And I definitely feel that they are going to be putting in work to really get your attention why? Because three of pentacles, star, and two of pen and pentacles, we have more than one option coming through for you, Leo. So now is the time to really put yourself out there. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. What is your spirit's message here? Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. We have stay up, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm hearing options. I'm hearing opportunities. It's almost like it's going to be a fun month for you guys. I'm going to be honest. It's, it's almost giving me that giddy energy, like very excited. Like you can't wait to see what tomorrow brings because it almost seems like every day is a new experience for you guys. So there is a revamp of energy that's happening here for you guys. So uh, awesome energy. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos out there. In regards to the month of March, 2024. There we go. Virgo, we're starting off here with the Five of Cups in communication. The Justice card. Ooh. Wowzus. Okay. In regards to communication, you have the Five of Cups. I feel like this month you're going to be challenged in the aspect, Virgo, of there is something that you've been trying to not deal with or there's something that you've been trying really hard to suppress. This month, you're literally being pushed to accept things and to make decisions because it can no longer continue going the way it's been going. For some of you guys, it's making the decision of getting a divorce for others of you, it is making the decision of walking away from a long-term relationship. Why? Because there's been hurt. There's been betrayal. For some of you guys, you're currently dealing with the news of third-party type of energy. What they're telling you is a lot of the times, and this is something that I often see when it comes to male clients. Now, it's a general reading. Keep in mind, so it could be male or female. doesn't matter. I'm just giving an example. This is something I see a lot with male clients when they're dealing with people that are very low vibration, something in their life starts to go very like they start to do bad. Um, so as an example, if they're a male client and they've been with a female that is very low vibration, it's almost like the opportunities, the possibilities that they had start to go away. Why? Because that person is very low vibration and obviously you're being intimate with them. So they're bringing down your vibration. And you're also carrying or taking on their energy. So therefore, uh, a lot of people that are successful or that are doing really well, they get with a low vibrational person, sights tracks them, uh, someone that confuses them, someone that doesn't give them the direction that they need. 
they get lost and they start to see those losses in their finances and in their career. I feel like the person that you've been dealing with Virgo for quite a while has been holding you back. And you know this, like, you know, that you've made a lot of sacrifices. You know, that you've, you know, even made sacrifices about your career or about your finances or about the people that you deal with. Maybe you pulled away from because your it made your, your partner uncomfortable or they weren't that excited about, oh, I don't really like her or I don't really like him uh, because they have a bad influence on you. But really what it was is that they didn't want for you to have that emotional support because the moment you have emotional support, they can no longer mentally manipulate you. So I feel like you've been dealing with a person that is very good with talking themselves out of situations at this point, spirits like pushing you, you need to make the decision Virgo and the ball is in your court. Why? Because you're the one that needs to walk away or you're the one that needs to say, I'm done. Like you need to really bring it back to yourself, Virgo. Why? On the emotion level, you have the magician card here. So the magician card is a representation of having the potential and the power to manifest whatever it is that you want. You've been dealing with the situation for long enough. It's time you choose yourself and you start to see how you begin to thrive in every single aspect about your life outside of this connection. And that's how you're going to know that that person you were dealing with was very low vibration because they were blocking you from your blessings. So pay attention to that, Virgo. All right. Let's see what's going on here with your spirit's message. Spirit, what is the message for us? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The final message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Your message is, oof, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah. It, it's almost like you've been on this journey or you've been on this mission to figure out what it is that you want. Is it worth it? You know, is it worth the sacrifice? Is it worth the heartbreaks? Is it worth everything you've been dealing with? At this point, I feel like the universe is kind of giving you the push. Like, you know what? Fine, Virgo, you want to do things on your terms. Well, this time I am going to pull the blindfold from your eyes so that you can see exactly where you stand with people so that you can see exactly what is best for you. And I feel that what's best for you is to see people for who they really are. So I hope that you choose yourself, Virgo. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2024. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Libras out there. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up as well as when we go live. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, I'm over here. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you. Libra, we're starting off communication with the full card. When it comes to your finances and career, you have the Queen of Swords. When it comes to the challenge, Nine of Wands. Hmm. And in regards to water element, your emotions, uh, relationships, five of wands. Okay. So what they're showing me, Libra, is that you are beginning a new journey. You're beginning a new journey. And for some of you guys, I feel like there is a work situation where you're going to have to be able to stand your ground, Libra. So I feel like people have a tendency of seeing you as innocent, maybe naive and you've been allowing people to take advantage of you for long enough. So what I mean by that is if at work, they know that you have a strong worth ethic, they know that they can rely on you. They start to get comfortable and all the extra things that you're doing is going unnoticed because other people around you are taking credit for that. So this is the month where you're going to be put in a situation and you could be dealing potentially with a higher up or someone that is of higher authority than you, where they may end up being in a pickle or they may feel like they're getting caught up and 
someone else is going to come to you to try to get feedback on the situation, my advice, Libra, don't lie for your superior, okay? Don't lie. You have to stand your ground and know that this person has been writing off of you for quite a while. Now, this is going to connect with a lot of you guys in different ways. This could be potentially not just career-wise. It could be a family issue where someone that comes to you, someone that you highly respect, uh, is going to come to you to get some type of feedback or maybe rumors that have been swirling around. And you heard, you know, that your sister, that your cousin said exactly this. And they're coming to you telling you, well, your sister, your cousin told me the complete opposite. Like, stand your ground, you know, be honest, be truthful, because I feel like it's going to be very important this month. You're going to be tested. And I think you're going to be tested to loyalty or quote unquote, whatever loyalty is to other people, though, if the shoe was on the other foot, meaning on their foot, they wouldn't lie for you. So again, it's kind of like stop enslaving yourself to loyalty to other people that wouldn't do the same thing for you, Libra. So pay attention to that because really what they're saying is stand behind your convictions, stand behind your integrity, and you will come out, even if they try to make you seem or make you look bad, you're going to come out victorious. You're going to come out on top. Whereas if you agree, you will get caught or they will find out the truth and you're going to come off as a person that was either a two, a two face or someone that really has no morals. So again, stand on your convictions, regardless of who feels what kind of way because you're the one that's going to come out victorious in the end. Now, when it comes to your relationships and partnerships, again, the same message is here. Stand your ground. Stop excusing people's behaviors. Stop excusing, um, stop excusing immaturity or people acting immature or your partner, you know, having tantrums. And it's like, Oh, you know, that's just how they are. No, you've allowed them to be that way. That's why they continue to get away with that type of behavior. It's time that you start holding people accountable to what they do. I can't throw you, you know what I mean? I can't get a lamp and throw it and miss your head because you moved. And then later on me be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Like, okay, if it would have landed in your head, <laughs> you know, if it would have landed in your head and it would have hurt you, like... I'm supposed to care for you. I'm supposed to be the person that loves you and takes care of you. How is that loving and caring? You get what I'm saying? So stop making excuses for people's behaviors, you guys. All right, let's see what your spirit's message is here, Libra. I literally ducked because I seen a lamp. I don't know what that means. That may resonate with some of you guys out there. But yeah, people have a funny way of excusing other people's behavior. And it's almost like even in the situation where, you know, your family or someone from your family doesn't like your partner because they're an asshole and you can't see that, but they do asshole shit. You know what I mean? And then when they do that, you're over here trying to explain to them, oh, it's because you had a bad day or she had a bad day or like you're trying to excuse. Like if you have to find yourself being put in situations where you have to make up stories to excuse other people's behaviors, like you're with the wrong person. That simple. All right, let's see what Libra's spirit's message is here. Spirit, oh, okay, too many. What is spirit's message here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Libra. And your message is potential. You guys. Stop allowing people to get away with certain things just because you see potential in them. You didn't fall for their potential because, or I should say, falling for someone's potential is not who they are. It's what you hope them to become. Pay attention to that, Libra. All right, my loves. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Scorpios out there. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Scorpio. 
in regards to communication, you have the world card. In regards to finances and career, you have the seven of cups. In regards to the challenge, six of wands. And in regards to emotions, you have the knight of wands. Okay. So for a lot of you Scorpios, you're ending a cycle. Um, you're ending a cycle where you're dealing with a person that was extremely ego-based. You're no longer going to be putting up with their half-assing anything. Um, so if this is a situation where they you kind of don't know what you guys are, you know, it's it's not official, but it's almost like to their convenience or when it's convenient for them. I see you putting your foot down this month and you're like, okay, we need to clear the air. Like, where do we stand? And if they try to bullshit you, I feel like this is the month where you walk away from that and you're choosing yourself, Scorpio. Now, when we're talking about communication, the world card does indicate to me an ending cycle of some type of achievement. So for some of you guys, there could be a graduation coming up, some type of celebratory type of energy. For some of you guys, you're getting a, a higher ranking position, a position that comes with more authority, more respect, obviously more pay. For others of you, there is transitions that are happening right now. So for some of you guys, you may be in the process of moving or buying a home, excuse me, buying property or, um, or moving, you know, moving residency. Now, when we're talking about your finances and career with the world card here, um, Scorpio, I'm seeing that you guys are getting a lot of offers or a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming your way this month of March, where it's really going to level you up, Scorpio, because we have the six of wands here. So there is victory that's coming to you. It's almost like a victory that's coming through an achievement that you've made or you will be making this month that it brings up or it opens up more doors for you to continue climbing or continue growing. It's almost like Spirit's way of telling you people are going to be celebrating you this month, Scorpio, because of your determination, because of your hard work, especially those of you guys that are in sales or anything that has to do with like dealing with clientele. They're giving a lot of feedback. They are giving you praises. I feel like you're really stepping up. You're really glowing up, uh, Scorpio. Now, when we're talking about emotions and relationships, the Knight of Wands definitely speaks to me, especially with the Six of Wands. A lot of passion, you guys. It's almost like there is a rekindling for some of you guys. Passion is going to be very intense this month for you guys. It's definitely going to be a very lustful month for a lot of you guys especially even those of you guys that are single you guys especially with the six of wands um yeah i feel you guys are going to be very proactive this month let's just put it that way <laughs> all right let's see what spirit's message is here for scorpio for the month of march 2024 let's see scorpio's message here for spirit's message for scorpio here we go. Okay, thank you. All right. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So again, I feel like there is a lot of potential for you guys this month, Scorpio. Those of you guys that are single, I feel like you're not going to be single for too long. You're definitely going to have options, Scorpio. Uh, even those of you guys that are currently in a serious monogamous relationship, I feel like there is a rekindling. There's a restrengthening. There is a relighting the passion between you guys. I feel like you guys are going to be very proactive this month. Uh, very, a lot of passion is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Cappies. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2024. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. So you guys can catch us on the lives as well. I'm going to be more proactive on here. I did that, I think it was last week. And I'll be doing it sometime this week, okay? So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. All right, let's see. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March, 2024. Here we go. Capricorn. In regards to communication, you have the star card. In regards, ooh, in regards to, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> in regards to your finances and career, you have the Hierophant. In regards to the challenge position, six of pentacles, ooh, Capricorn, another amazing reading. Uh, in regards to love and romance, the chariot. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys off the bat, for those of you guys that are single, you're not going to be single for too long. Why do I say this? Because I see a lot of options around you, Capricorn. 
there is a definite glow up that's happening or you have been going through a glow up. Uh, for a lot of you guys, physical transformations. For others of you, there is a revamping of something. For some of you guys, it could be like you're thinking about cutting your hair, styling your hair differently, um, just really putting focus on yourself. And what I'm hearing is more like self-love type of energy, which is awesome energy, you guys, because the more we love ourselves, the more the universe will show us that the universe loves us. <laughs> now, when we're talking about communication, we have Aquarius energy here. So something that's going on in your Aquarius placement, obviously Pluto's transit there, right? The communication, I feel like a lot of people are going to be seeking you out Capricorn this month of March. A lot of people, especially those of you guys that are like in the public eye or those of you guys that deal with like clients or just with the masses, the star card does symbolize to me um, people seeking out your help or coming to you or like really, if you guys are in sales, like sales is going to be picking up because people are choosing to come to you. They're wanting your guidance. They're, they're wanting your wisdom or your knowledge and whatever career that you do. Um, but this also does indicate to me like, Having a major glow up, I feel like people are going to be very drawn to you this month of March, even going all the way to May, Capricorn. So there is something that's happening uh, for some of you guys in your birth chart where it's almost giving me the sense of like massive attention or having a lot of opportunities because people are really vibing to your energy. So my advice for you Capricorns out there is start loving on yourself. I literally mean this. Why? Because you have the star card, you have the hierophant, six of pentacles and the chariot card. Potentially this could be speaking about some type of stardom, some type of, you know, just taking it to the next level. There's major blessings that are coming your way. People that are coming into your life that are going to help you open more doors up for you that are going to give you the hookups that are going to give you the downloads that are going to give you what you need to get you to where you want to be Capricorn. Now, when we're talking about finances and career, you have the Hierophant here. So with the star card, there is an offering that's coming through that is going to substantially change your life, Capricorn, for the positive and that it's going to affect for the next coming years. It's not something that it's going to be just this year. It's something that is going to be progressively getting better for you and bringing to you a lot of security, a lot of stability. Now, when we're talking about the challenge, this is why I said start loving on yourselves, Capricorn. Six of Pentacles is indicating to me, really bringing it back to yourself, making it about you, Capricorn, focusing on yourself. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? What is it that you desire? Like, don't, and I know this is going to sound selfish, but I can totally, totally resonate with this energy right now. I am not, when we're talking about relationships, partnerships, or even the people that you're dealing with, it's no longer about like meeting them halfway. It's about making them go that, you know, that extra mile. Why? Because if you're choosing yourself, you know, making yourself a priority and thinking of what's best for you, that's when people start to respect you on a higher regard. They start respecting your time. They start respecting, you know, what you're bringing to the table. They're appreciative of that. And also, they also feel a bit threatened because they feel like they have to fight for your attention because you're getting a lot of attention. So again, it's about choosing yourself. If you can choose yourself this month, Capricorn, expect massive transformation. When it comes to emotions, we have cancer energy here. So this is the chariot. What does this mean? Someone's coming straight to you. Someone is gonna know the moment they see you that they want you in their life and they're gonna be willing to go above and beyond i do see commitment for some of you guys coming through here with the star and the hierophant six of pentacles and the chariot getting exactly what you want or getting exactly the type of person that you've been waiting on uh is what i'm hearing so again massive massive transformation here beautiful energy capricorn let's see what your spirit's message is here for this month, what is Spirit's message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Capricorn, really transformational energy, you guys. Make it about you. Choose yourself. Okay? That, that's You want to cruise by this month and fully experience the major potential that this month has for you? Choose yourself. 
All right. And when we have uh, Spirit's message here is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So if you, for those of you guys that are in a serious relationship or have been in a serious relationship for a while, for some of you guys, you're getting engaged this month. For others of you, you're moving in or talking about moving in. It's like planting or planning for the future, but actually taking action towards that. Um, for others of you, it is exactly what it says. Your love life is about to uh, take you to a whole nother level, Capricorn. Awesome energy there. All right. And finally, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm being told... I'm being told that I skipped Sagittarius. So I'm not sure if I did. If I did, Sagis, I'm sorry. I will continue your reading next. If I didn't, <laughs> I'll edit this video. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what is unfolding for Aquarius for this month of March, 2024. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius. In regards to communication, we have the Page of Swords. In regards to career and finances, we have the Devil card here. In regards to the challenge, you have the Page of Wands. And in regards to emotions, you have the Magician card here. Okay. So I see you guys communicating this month, Aquarius. A lot of you guys are going to be dealing with Capricorn energy or Capric people that are, you know, that their sign is Capricorn. Um, why? Because the Page of Swords and the Devil card does indicate communication. Uh, the Devil card does represent Capricorn. Uh, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of banter or a lot of communication, like I said, with the Capricorn Um Okay, so what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, if you are currently dealing with a Capricorn or you know a Capricorn that you are interested in, what they're telling you is now is the time to shoot your shot, Aquarius. So I don't know if this, this may not resonate with everyone, but hear me. If you are dealing with a Capricorn or maybe even an Aquarius like yourself, because it is ruled by Saturn, um but you feel like this person may be a little bit out of your league or like maybe you're not their type. Now is the time to fully shoot your shot. Why? Because I feel like the energy is going to be very, like it's going to be received well. And you can actually be surprised with the page of wands and the magician card here. Now for others of you, um, I feel like you're going to be obsessively watching someone. This could be through social media. This could be through uh, you know, their Facebook, their Instagram, their TikTok, whatever you're into. For others of you, you can meet someone online. And I feel like this is a person that you are going to almost, almost see them. There's an allure to them that it's almost like everything you've ever wanted. I do want to mention, be careful, um, Aquarius. Why? Because we have Pluto in your sign, right? And that does have a tendency of bringing people that could be potentially a bit obsessive. So it could be something that starts off on social media or someone that you start to communicate back and forth, but then it becomes a little bit obsessive. Now, if this is you and you're okay with that, meaning that the partner is a little bit obsessive and you're okay with that, then that's fine. But I feel like for some of you guys, um, they may throw you off a bit because they may come off as a bit domineering. Um, and it's because it has those obsessive qualities to, to them. Now, if this is you, the one that is watching someone very closely, um, almost like obsessively, um, again, I feel like there is almost this shyness quality to you, Aquarius, which I'm surprised because I don't really see Aquarians as shy, but there's almost like this aura about this person that really has you captivated. And I would really encourage you guys to really put yourself out there because the I feel like this person could definitely be feeling you. I feel like they haven't given you that much of attention or time, but because they're unsure or uncertain that you may be feeling them as well. So 
Um, this is going to resonate with all of you guys very differently, but that is something that's definitely coming through. Now, when we're talking about the challenge with the page of wands, I want you guys to be really focused this month, Aquarius. It's going to be very important. Um, why? Because there's certain things that you want to achieve. There's certain goals or, you know, goals or accomplishments that you want to make happen. And I feel like you have the potential to do that, but it's going to be very important not to be distracted by the people that you surround yourself with. This could be friends. This could be relatives. This could be people that have a habit of being a bit toxic. Uh, as an example, if you're thinking of going back to school and, you know, family or friends have a tendency to be, Oh, why up? Why till now? Is it a little too late? Why this? Why that? Like, don't listen to that. Stay focused on what you're trying to do and you will accomplish it. Anything you start now, Aquarius, you will definitely complete it. You will definitely achieve it. So don't doubt yourself and your capabilities, especially with Pluto sitting in your, in your sign. It's about expansion. It's about, excuse me, growth and transformation. Okay. All right. What is Aquarius spirit's message here? Spirit, what is Aquarius message here for this reading? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Aquarius, we have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Again, I feel like this month you guys are going to start to experience people that are going to be very magnetically attracted to you, Aquarius. And it has a lot to do with Pluto's energy. Like I said, it kind of brings out obsessive behavior. I mean, if you're into that, good for you. Um, if you're not, uh, don't be turned off by them necessarily. I just feel like it's something that they just can't help. Um, and I don't feel that they have a habit of doing that. I feel like it's something just with your allure or it's something that that other person has right in their energy that really is bringing out the animalistic side to you. Um, so kudos to you. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I'm going to edit this, but if this is, if I did skip Sagittarius, we're going to go to Sag. Let's see what Spirit's message is here for Sagittarius. What is the reading for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sorry, Sagittarius. I will make it up to you in the next reading. I will start off with your sign. All right, Sagis. Let's see what Sagittarius can expect for the month of March 2024. March 2024, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. One more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. All right, here we go. All right, Sagittarius, when we're talking about communication, you have the star card here. Some of you guys will be dealing with Aquarian energy. For others of you, I feel like the communication that's coming through for you guys this month is really take it in a very positive aspect, Sagittarius. I feel like there is clarity that's coming to you in regards to the situation where Perhaps you didn't know exactly 100% the truth behind it. Or for some of you guys, you just didn't know where you stand. I feel like you're getting that clarity this month for sure. Now, when we're talking about career and finances, we do have here the nine of wands. So there is a need for you guys to speak up in regards to what you deserve. Because what I'm hearing is if you don't speak, they won't hear. So that is a symbolization to me that people cannot read your mind and people cannot assume, right? If you've been doing a job and in that job, you've been progressively taking more responsibility and haven't complained about it, or, you know, you've taken it like a champ, they're not going to appreciate that. They're just going to get to the point where they feel comfortable and solely rely on like, the expectancy of you doing it or making that happen. Now is the month, especially with the star card. If there is a raise, if there is some type of vacation time that you're wanting to get, now is the time to put it in. Why? Because I feel like the energy is going to be very received very well, especially because they know that you've been working really hard or you've earned it. If you've been wanting a raise and the past couple of years, they haven't given you that raise. Now is the time to speak up Sagittarius. Stand your ground when it comes to your worthiness because it will be given to you. If you guys are trying to get some type of loan or some type of it, this is the month that you should do it because you're definitely getting it this month. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here is the queen of swords. Again, don't be emotional about the situation, whatever it is that you feel like it's kind of throwing you off. 
speak from a perspective of a cold mind, a cool mind. So what do I mean by that? Don't let the emotions get the best of you. If you get overly emotional, take a breather, walk it out. When you are clear minded, then you start to speak up for yourself. I feel like people have a tendency of maybe not hearing you or maybe not paying attention to what you're saying. Now is the time to articulate what it is that you want. This could be in relationships. This could be in career. This could be with family and relatives. You know, if you start to articulate what it is exactly that you want or what it is that you expect from them or the boundaries that you expect them to respect, now is the time to do that. And they will understand. They will fall in line. Now, when we're talking about love and romance, you do have here the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups does indicate to me, uh, again, very receptive energy. I feel like communication is going to be very easy for you this month. That could be the reason why they are encouraging you to really step it up, to really speak about what it is that you want, what it is that you expect from people, and you will get exactly that, Sagittarius. All right, what is Sagittarius message here, Spirit? What is... Um, the final message here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit's message, please, for Sagittarius. Here we go, Sagittarius. All right, my loves, you have purity. The, again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's almost this feeling of I feel like in the past, maybe you felt like you weren't being heard or you haven't been seen. I feel like this month is definitely going to give you kind of like you're being put in the forefront for people to hear you or to see you or to see what you bring to the table or to see the hard work and determination you've been doing. There is purity to you, Sagittarius. And I feel like in the past, you've probably felt, I don't want to say like, like you've talked down on yourself, you know, why am I so stupid? Why do I put up with that? Why do I do this? Why do I do that? The reason for it is because you're coming from a pure space. And this is the month where you start to experience the the reciprocation of the universe showing you that same purity and that same love. So I feel like this month, there is a massive transformation that is experienced or being felt this month for you, where there were places, times, where you felt like you weren't being heard or you were being seen. I feel that this is the month that people start to acknowledge you. People start to make you feel like they are hearing you or like they are seeing you, Sagittarius. And it's going to really motivate you because I feel like it's almost going to make you cry because you're really being seen. And it's something that maybe you haven't felt for quite a while. So again, my loves, like I said, this is the month where you really want to articulate what it is that you want, even putting it out there to the universe, and it will definitely come through for you, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies, we are done here. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I will see you guys soon, the next live. <laughs> Until then, you guys take care. Bye.